please welcome uh, the director of Nepal Tattoo Private Limited, very dear friend and brother of mine, Mr. Bijay Shrestha. Bijay Dai, welcome to the show, Dai. Good to be here, good to be here. Good to be back, Dai. Okay. Is it? Sorry. Please, Dai. You know, like, there are so many fascinating stories about tattoos. Okay? Awesome. And every year, anymore, we promote your tattoo convention, Nepal Tattoo Convention. And every year we sit down and, and talk about this. And I, I try to find new things about <laughs> tattoo. And it's endless. You know, there are so many stories. But you tell me first, Anthony, what has changed since last year? You've been doing this for seven years. No, sir. Uh, of course, there's an experience to back it. So <coughs> every, every year there's one additional pressure that you've got to make it better. One yeah, pressure. Always, so, always so, always so what's always. happening this year in 7th Nap International Nepal Tattoo Convention? Like every year, of course, the pressure Mm -hmm. That never changes because I think that's why because it thrives us to do better. And the thing that I changed this year is, of course, the venue. We are in a brand new, clean, very enthusiastic team to work right. with. Sunny Parma Heritage Garden. Uh -huh. so do you that's think that's for the better or? It is for the better. Mm -hmm. Like, it changes when it comes in a sudden way. It did come in a sudden way. I'm going to plan for that too. But, uh, yeah, so now we are making the most out of it. Mm -hmm. And I think now after working on the venue with the, with the people from the venue and, my, and our team. So we are going to make it and, of course, add the wow factor in it. So it, that's the change. New thing. And I'll go say, uh, what we have this year is the lineup, the artists mm -hmm. that are coming to Nepal for the first time. Like amazing list of artists from all around the world. Right. Of course, we have our old friends. We have our amazing Nepali mm -hmm. artists, you know, Tattoo artists. To have new artists rather them to choose to come to Nepal where and say no to bigger conventions in Europe and America, mm -hmm. that's like a big thing for us. And and, and, and that's what I was getting to, Kedai okay, But There's so many artists, like I had a brochure where, you know, mm. two pages of brochure were only filled with names, you know? And, uh, and they all come, Marco, it's like after financial, they take care of their financial aspect themselves and they're here actually to be a part of it. Didi Mat Nawe, when this byproduct, okay? Mm. Whatever's in the air in Tamil, Zango, even there's Nepal Tari Convention, okay. you can see. And people are talking about it and, and you know, you're, when somebody mentions this, Nepal Yogi Taxi Driver, Kotha, when you're a restaurant, you must be delighted with the kind of impact or, or the ripple effect this is generating. Yeah, this is like, you know, that's my, I'm so bonded with the Quran. Also, I mean, we are like Nepal, I mean, we are the host. Right. Also, I'm an artist, Ruben Lekam, all the Osti, this guy from, a uh, robot from uh, Germany, where I'm with the yeah, I'm airport my line line up with Tahiri. Obviously, you know, you, you know, right. like he's a tattoo artist. Uh -huh. Only but take to visa the name and say, you know, uh -huh. oh, okay, it's tattoo time. <laughs> 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 so he was like, this is like why we want to, we love to come back to Nepal because everybody welcomes us. Isn't but, but, but has the perception changed in cinema? I think the common question here still is, no, Nepali sir. household mounts, I mean, let's if your word is segregated day to day lifestyle ma, or, or the way people look at tattoos say, have you seen that change over the past few years Definitely. is it becoming better I think so because uh, why I can back back what's it called anyone just the orate I'm a local artist Nepali artist who go come the way they have started traveling all around right one go business one go after art go growth you can see there's a demand Right. Uh -huh. Demand uh -huh. they are supplying. They are all right. obviously like working hard and making it bigger. Poyla ko abra amro amro partner Mohan. Mohan started when still is the biggest and the oldest. Right. Poyla dosto dosto oil even oru artists oru oru studios oru like you know like Mohan ko dosto following his line following his tube on his and then obviously the work they do busy hone. So that shows like manse oru we are more inter you know inter uh, interested tattoo ma and. So society has also changed in many ways, and for tattoos, thanks to you and the media in Nepal, mm -hmm. tourism board, Ambro supporters, partners. So way we have been promoting this event for the past seven, eight years, mm -hmm. we definitely have made an impact on people thinking like, okay, this like, what do you think about it? Right. Junkie legal, ne drug addicts legal, ne matter You know, it's it's an art form. Mm -hmm. And again, like everything, every time I see the same thing, you, know, you look at something beautiful, you might not like it on yourself. Mm -hmm. But you can't hate it. You will say like, "Wow, that's you beautiful." You have to admire it. You exactly. Have to and, and us being it. Nepali, we can say we cannot acknowledge a beautiful art. Exactly. That's in us. 
and mo, I think so last year ko mero monologue ma say, mo, when before I introduced you I I I, I said this and, and I said that mo, there there are many things that we say, mo, form an opinion about or we get judgmental but when we sit back and ask ourselves why we don't have an answer to this hmm. so so somebody says tattoo ki tattoo gore ko you hmm. and then and then you ask kina ki bhayo and then they don't have an answer yeah. to it right so I mean so they could a ru like you know needle just to unsa the english to unsa chemical just to I mean, I'm glad that you have those questions, you have uh -huh. you know, those doubts. Uh -huh. So that's why we are here. Right. Come to our convention, three days, come mm -hmm. and you know, clear our doubts. Taru mm -hmm. Anne in China. And then because besides convention, besides Taru, we can see Taru artists are paintings, the sketches. Right. We have this long lineup of amazing musicians, Nepali mm -hmm. band, Uru, Nepali folk and traditional dance that you have, we might not have seen ever. Right. So it's it's more of a unconventional convention, if, yeah. if I may, right? Yeah. And, and, yeah. <laughs> and, and, and it's n it, it is about tattoos primarily, but it's more about celebrating art, and I think we're all a yeah. part of it in day-to-day -day lives. Mo, I don't, I don't, I don't know, ma'am, but do you have statistics like Kutsani, Kotizana Mansi, or saying they've got how many tattoo parlors are there all over the country in Nepal? Or how many mm. artists are there primarily, and and how many clients have they catered to? Or is What do you think? Okay, that's a tough one because definitely grown, mm -hmm. right? Because mm -hmm. of but, we, but we don't have any numbers, do no, we? No, no, we don't. We don't. It won't be that difficult to get it. I'll, I'm, I'm sure I'll, I'll give it to you in a right, day or two. Right, because that that would have been. Yeah, uh, uh, I mean, so like definitely big. All the year before, I'm a convention man. I'm a about poker. I didn't hear that one so we have artists from Nyan Gard, Butol, but I studios too. You know, so that shows, right. like you know, what I mean, the studio khunlu mane because there's a demand for it. There's yeah. demand for it, and and I remember as on the two years ago when Namaste TV show was promoting that convention, and Mohan Dai was yeah. here, and then this guy from Birganj calls up yeah. us up, and then he says he's got a tattoo parlor in Birganj, yeah. and we're like, yeah. you've got a tattoo car parlor in Birganj, <laughs> right? Seriously? Yeah, that was two years ago. And, uh, and and then and then still it works. So. Your tattoo convention, ma, what's the ratio? Nepali artists, right, the international artists, there, and say, ma, what's the ratio like? Oh, boy, yeah, I we always keep uh, like 30 to 35 percent mm -hmm. local mm -hmm. Nepali artists. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Until back then, we keep it open for international artists. Right. And yes, ma, say, like you, Borsa, when we started the registrations, we always keep, first, we always ask our own Nepali artists, mm -hmm. this is what we have, come. And then we have our old friends, we keep a spot with them, and then we make it open. And the good thing for this year that shocked everyone was mm -hmm. in two, three, four weeks, we were fully booked. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, and how many artists are there this year? So we have around 110 booths. 110 so booths, well, wow. So around 100, 150 to 175 artists. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And more so, more I know this is a private limited company, and and more you're not uh, obligated to disclose your finances. But uh, I mean, of course, it's and tattoo artists come in, and and you can get yourself tattooed, right? And mm -hmm. that's the entire that's that's one basic point yeah. of it. I know my friends who wait for you know certain yeah. international <laughs> artists and say, well, I want five hours of this artist, and and they go ahead and get it, and it costs a lot of money yeah. as well in Nepali context. So, uh, do you have any idea about anymore? In, 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 of course, in numbers, about the magnitude of transactions that take place and, and how big of an economic side there is to it. The, I mean, to I, remember, I think when, when artists, when they travel to Nepal, those guys who charge a lot back in their own home uh -huh, country or uh -huh. on other conventions, uh -huh. only when they ask me about, you know, like, what should I charge? Right. Already, I'm like, it's up to you, number uh -huh. one, because uh -huh. I don't ask, I don't know about what, right. what goes uh -huh. on with the artists uh -huh. and the uh -huh. clients. And uh -huh. I would say, of a big artist, they come on the early exam upon earth. This guy is a Thanka painting mm -hmm. artist, right, so his plan is he's going to get tattooed by him, mm -hmm. and he's going to take him to his studio. Oh, wow. Thanka uh -huh, uh -huh. So there's a so lot of exchange, yeah. exchange of arts as well. But mo, mo, I, I just wanted, I was just curious. Keep your entire venue late three days, ma. I think you know, mo, it, it, it. Um, generates a lot of income for mm. for such an art form Puzzle. that is trying to find its place in in the nepali society yeah. and that i think is incredible as well so mo, moving on um, of course you said it it depends ki artist let's say kotima gorsan and of course there's a, a few give and takes that yeah. that, that can work out but mo, mo, how much normally does a tattoo cost in nepal tattoo convention for all of my viewers who actually want to come there and mm. get a tattoo as can you give me a range like once anymore Anything from two thousand to five thousand rupees. So uh, and and is it is uh, I mean the standard unit for tattoos uh, is I suppose in hours, ain't it? So so two thousand to five thousand rupees. Prati kontal, ma say, ma you can get yourself tattooed. Is that that's correct? That's that's normal. That's uh -huh. an average, I would say. Right. 
and right. then again, as I said, it's in question of Kura Gata Hiri, Chasin Nagarla, Kordla, and Zani. So it all depends. The tattoo of Mandahiri, you basically Kinu Banda, it's a relationship that you that clicks between right. you and uh -huh. your artist. Uh -huh. And you've got, I mean, a couple of hours to kill time and talk yeah. to, right? So, I mean, you can... artists are like, you know, they're here, Nepal Convention, they're not here to make money. Uh -huh. They're here to, like, soak everything about Nepal. Then right. Amro, and then we don't need to go to a museum to learn, to uh -huh. see these things. And Amro Mate, you would, I mean, you just land and come out of the airport and everyone is like, I am here now. Right, it and I think our people are better than museum pieces anyway. Right. Like, this exactly. is Nepal. <laughs> well, uh, uh, more about, all right, let's get to the basic. For a, for a tattoo novice, well, you know, just mm -hmm. a class 10 ma porne student can admire a tattoo. In fact, in a grade 4 ma porne student can admire a tattoo. Hmm. Ma, I'm not sure if he's legally qualified to get a tattoo. No. We'll, we'll have <laughs> no. to check on that. <laughs> Until unless his parents want one yeah. for him, right? No. But, uh, I'm reminding you, we don't let them. Uh, 18 months ago, there's no way. Uh -huh. And even to come in in the convention, he has to be like with a guardian. All oh, right, right. And so that's you, we want to follow those. Rules. Culturally, I mean, I read I've read stories where you know, more you're you're born and and just to give a symbol of the certain family you belong mm. to, you're tattooed as a child. Yeah, yeah. But anyways, let's get past that. My question to you is, you're a big deal. a tattoo admirer, Gorsa. Oh, you know, and and he he likes the idea of tattoos. He knows that more. He can embrace the ideas of tattoo. And then, I mean, he's deciding whether he should get a tattoo or not, or, or what tattoo he should get. But what's your suggestion? What is tattoo all about for you? And is, does it, it, I mean, of course it depends individual to individual, but what is tattoo as a whole? And when you're looking to get a tattoo, what are the things you should consider? And should it be a representation of your thought? Or you think, should it, I mean, it can mm. just be a beautiful picture that you want on yourself? It's much a mere personal experience because when you suruma before the convention, like you know, tattoo is the one one bunny. Like basically because of like you know, like sports star, uh -huh. you know, you're a fan, you follow uh -huh. that, you see some exactly right. movies, uh -huh. rock stars, musicians too, and too. And then Tedikha said, I would like to get whatever he has. Uh -huh. That's how it started, you know. Then you have this tribal flash arts, which is what my my first one, uh -huh. obviously, too too. And then as you grow into this and now like you learn more about art, you learn more about uh, like art, tattoo art form. The Malayate, it just brought me more close to my own Nepali art. Mm -hmm. So I love my, you know, my small details of a stone, you know, some somewhere. Uh -huh. It doesn't uh -huh. have to be a big statue. Right. It's going to be minute kura. Okay, uh -huh. that looks nice. Uh -huh. I would like to get that. Mm -hmm. So that to art ko aha, you you become more microscopic on looking at things now. Right. Uh -huh. And then yeah, what you want to get is. Well, it's like, you know, first, if you want to start with uh, following your rock star tattoo, do that. And then mm -hmm. gradually you'll learn, mm -hmm. you know, step by step, you'll learn more about it. Then right. it's a philosophy, might be that. And then later comes to a point where you start admiring an artist and an art form. And you meet the artist, you like, whatever you want. So it's it's an individual journey is what you're describing. It is. To For me now, yeah, exactly. Now it's like... What was your first tattoo? Why did you get it? First one was, it took me a while. Right? And then I designed a couple, four or five designs to the bonai and he, mom was like against tattoos uh -huh. so uh, mom like dukha bhayera tattoo to ranu bhayera so my trick was i made my mom choose so i was like i'm getting one right so why don't you choose <laughs> <laughs> so well, she was like okay well, well i had a bigger <laughs> idea to dodge that too so i i got a tattoo for myself and you were there of course yeah. you helped me get it with mom like so mom like i mean despite of his schedule, he fixes me up and I mean, he was <laughs> very sweet. He didn't even <laughs> charge me a penny for his five, six hours. But anyway, thank you, Mohan. I'm going to make you do that again. So my, I, I go back to my house and I've got a tattoo suddenly and then my mom's not happy with it. So what do I do? Next day I go in. I mean, a lot of my viewers won't, I mean, didn't know about this. So <laughs> next day I go in and I tattoo her name on my hand. Uh, so now there's no way that she doesn't know. <laughs> <sleek. that. laughs> but I mean, for me, Bijay, like, you know, more over the course of time, and of course I've had my own job journey with it and over the course of time you know some tattoos you I think it's it's all right for a person to like grow out of certain tattoos yeah. and that you can yeah. cover I think you know and for me I think you know tattoos also remember memories like yeah. I'm, I'm a certain age now and 20 years from now I might not understand the magnitude of the situation I'm in when I look at it you know from the yeah. future when I, when I look when I'm looking at it as, as a past so I think if I have something in my body to just remind me of the lessons in my life, yeah. so for me it works like memory. Does that happen oh to you? Oh yeah, yeah. But like I don't regret any of my tattoos. Or and somebody asked like, okay, why do you want to do this? I'm sure you'll grow out of it after a certain uh -huh. number of years. And like I might, 
But then right now I love it. But can a can a tattoo be your memory? Like can I mean like not exactly <laughs> like in Gajani, right? <laughs> Where you're actually tattooing. That's the only memory. That you have. <laughs> right? But but I mean, can it actually be a representation yeah. of you at a certain time? Of course, I think so. I agree, because Kajizana ko something happened at that point of you know in your life, uh -huh. and you get tattooed that uh -huh. represents something that happened. And like, yeah, down the line when you go back and you look at this thing and you want to remember right. something, it has to be so painful or so happy that you want to get exactly and want to be with it forever. And photos so won't do the trick. No. Do and, then, yeah, and then you look yeah. at it and it's worth and the it's pain. Worth and 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 of course. Too. Well, there you go. That's something your Facebook profile can't do, <laughs> even though you post <laughs> yeah. photos on your timeline. <laughs> That's something that your mind can't do. So for me, I mean, tattoo works as, as a way of reminding myself of whatever I've learned whatever I've gained, whatever I've lost as well. But I mean, like you said, it's an individual journey. Uh, of course, this festival is starting from tomorrow. Uh, the venue has changed, so all of our and more, more fans from the yesteryears of Nepal Tariq Convention, Yaki Nieti Borisi, we've moved to Heritage Garden, which is in San Nepal, of course. Starting from tomorrow, it'll be there till 2nd April. Uh, we're expecting thousands of people, so make sure that you get there first so that you could brag about it. And, you know, I was mm. there first. <laughs> first <laughs> selfie on, on Facebook, see, I mean, that's a competition these days. <laughs> uh, I've got passes here. So, uh, if you're a tattoo enthusiast and you're watching us funny, do call us up. Let's have a conversation about tattoos. We don't normally do this when we've got guests, but I thought tattoo, as an art, we've got to be able to share and express. So I thought, why not bring in people from the other side of the screen as well? And this festival is not just about tattoos. It's about Nepali art. It's about promoting Nepal. It's about cultural exchanges, and it's about music as well. So I'm going to play you another song. I mean, this is going to be the first song from our Rooster FM 95.2 playlist. Rooster FM, of course, are partners with the Nepal Tattoo Convention as well. We promote this every year. It's kind of the only ritual that ne Namaste TV show has. <laughs> the first song is going to be from the band, uh, the, the rock band, the evergreen rock band, Cobweb. This one is from their new album titled Rajniti. This is the title track. The song is from the same name. Uh, it's titled Rajniti as well. It's an amazing number. Uh, the Cobweb, I don't think they're performing there, but I'll tell you what. I mean, all of these bands that we're going to play here today, they're going to be there to just spectate this amazing, amazing festival of art. So you guys enjoy this song. We've got plenty of conversations about tattoo yet to come. We'll be right back. <coughs> well, uh, we're in conversation with Mr. Bijay Shrestha, who's the director for Nepal Tattoo Private Limited. Uh, by the way, 7th International Nepal Tattoo Convention is happening from tomorrow. It will end on 2nd of April. It's a three-day convention happening at Heritage Garden Sanepa, which is the Purano Gyanodaya School. Um, so if you guys are interested, please go ahead and be a part of this amazing, amazing festival. We're all going to be there. Of course, we're going to also take participation from the other side of the screen. Whoever is watching and whoever has ideas or questions about tattoos, we're ready to discuss. Uh, keep dialing. Uh, I think it's time for a short commercial break. Uh, we'll be right back. <coughs> yes, welcome back. You're still watching Huawei Namaste TV show. Today, we've picked a subject matter, and that subject matter is tattoo. Every year, we pick the subject matter. We're in conversation with Mr. Bijesh Shrestha, the director of Nepal Tattoo. Uh, private limited we've got uh, somebody who wants to participate PJ, right? so let's welcome him as well kumar joshi ji ununcha birat nagar dekhin kumar ji lai swagat garu kumar ji namaste hello hello kumar ji namaste namaste aram ununcha ma ekdam thik thak chu ami sab guest ununcha ma tamai tha pai saknu hola namaste aram ununcha namaste wala gari namaste hajur so kumar ji we're talking about tattoos i'm i a fan of tattoos tattoos cha tapai sanga pani juma mai मेरे एट मत क्वेश्चन के सिंगापुर बसु यूरोप को टैटो रो टैटो में मैं धेरे डिफ्रेंट पाकु अूरोप में ये धीरे टैटो को फेसन जस्त मार्केट बने एकदम ढक्का मेपाल आई सके जंग पांच दिन भो मैं काठमंड में बसर आज बिहान मत मंदिरा नगर आईपी को मैंटो टाटो हाँ बहनी मैं अनाम नगर में भेटे थे मेरे साथी को छोरी बहनी छोरी तीन मैं बहनी सोधे बहनी को घर अनाम नगर हो बहनी मैं सोधे कि हम डामाडोल बिजनेस मैं तो हाँ मोदी मैं क्वेश्चन सोचा खोजे यूरोप को टैटो रैटो में क्या भिन्नता इसमें भिन्नता भाई कि हम यूरोप में जैसे ठूल मार्केट छ तब अब यू टकिंग अबाउट कंट्री वाइज के एज अ यूरोप 
as a whole, you know. Uh -huh. So mm. obviously, Nepal go our economic standard, our tattoo industry go market. They got that. Europe, some compare got I don't think we have reached that point yet, and I don't think we will ever reach that point. Right. So the quality of artists, Kura got new one. Don't say Europe ma ka artists are chon. Our Nepali artists are already they are now no less than them. Mm -hmm. you know? Obviously, Europe ko market, the you know, economic standard, the hilera, they have demand. They got that market thrives there. Mm -hmm. So Nepal, ma, like with the limited resources that we have uh -huh. and the opportunities and exposure we have, I think Hamibini we are in a good position right yeah, now, yeah, right. and the the graph is going up, right. definitely going up. So ratio ma, Kumarji, uttar to tamale pawnu hai apne pu prashna ko. So ek isab le ki bonda ke re say, abe Nepal, I mean it's a small country poyla ta, we're catering to kati two crore, twenty lakh individuals that are here in Nepal. And so Nepal, uh, Europe, of course, it's massive, way more massive than that. So numbers may be not even count. Right. So with the market, we have a slow economy. So besides that, Mongolia is a tattoo culture. So Europe, we have a lot of tattoo culture. Because of that, we have a lot of tattoo culture. So 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 we have a lot of tattoo culture. कस्तो वाले नेपाल को टैटोरा यूरोप को टैटो मान यूरोप में सोंठ से उड़ा कंट्री को में है तो तो त्यैं को टैटोरा न्यैं को टैटो में एकदम डिफरेंट भी ना तब नहीं चाहती तो टैटोस में पनी इन द फॉर्म ऑफ आर्ट वी चूज जस्ते जस्ते माला इसने को टैटो मान पारियो त्यैं को रहें के एकदम डिफरेंट मतलब एकदम यूज को बुझने सासो रखे रहे मतलब मेरे टाइम लिए को तो ये मूल्य वन समय अलग मेरे टाइम ली मिली ना राइट कुमार जी ठीक सब मतलब मेरे को प्रश्न तो मेरे टेलीविजन नहीं है देखो ना तो मेरे को प्रश्न को उत्तर आमी दिने सों and we are going to, I think, discuss that as well. That's a very good question. Thank you. It, co it comes from a culture. It's a basic answer to the question. China got tattoo, right? Chinese culture, but it's derived from Nepal. Mm. So, but is there is there a difference as as what is pointing out? Well, you know, when we talk about like portrait realism, like snake, like you know, one of the portraits, one of the style of tattooing European artists, mm -hmm. could you see? I mean, like the portraits realism. I'm a Nepali artist. My Nepali art, my we are. More our styles, our tattoo is more geometric. Yeah, right. Uh -huh. uh, traditional Nepali style. Uh -huh. also. Uh -huh. So, do we form different kinds of art forms like compared to what we build? Right. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Our many artists are just like, like, we are making like European, like, you know, we are making 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 like, you know, the world's top top artists are the only two that they can see. They can see the signal here. They can see the trend, the style, 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 and the patterns that we have, Nepali patterns, Asian. So, the signal is here. And it works vice versa. Exactly, and then we are learning from them. Just like the realism, the realism, the realism, the realism, the color, the color, the color, the color. So, we are learning from them, they are learning from us. Right. And I don't think like, what is that a tattoo on it? It's not a fair comparison when we're talking about art. No, no. Our industry has been there in our culture. As an industry, we are very young. Right. And like you said, like the past seven, eight years that we have been talking, we've been working together with media, our promoters, sponsors, like you said, like the past seven, eight years that we have been talking, we've been working together with media, our promoters, sponsors, like you said, that we're talking about like tattoo, but we're still working on that. Whereas you're about that, I mean, you don't even talk about that. I mean, you don't even talk about like not I'm rude, but what do you mean? Like, it's my choice, it's my body, it's right. my opinion. Right. And but but I mean, I think one thing Kumarji mentioned there was since mm -hmm. he's got his friend's daughter who's a tattoo artist. But that itself is an which I think it's, it's, exactly. it's, it's, it's <laughs> encouraging. But what's what's slightly discouraging about that is that it's anymore, the way she opinionated. Yeah. Ki uh, business hai na, and 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 is there is there is there? I'm, I mean I. Perhaps I'm crossing the line here or going a little mm. too far. But um, Nepali, do you think they're distinguished? Like, is there gender bias that, oh, oh, this male artist is going to be better than this female artist, and that's why female artists in Nepal don't find as, yeah. spe as much space? Yeah, I was in Nepal, I see, but I'm in Times, I'm in Nepal, I'm in Nepal, like, the Nepali artists, female artists are very important. I mean, sadly, we don't. We don't have that. Yeah, right. I know, it's very important. 
And as it is, I and mean, we are talking, we're trying to talk about like buyer Europe or the cost of one. So yeah, America my cost of one. So the way they look at mm -hmm. it, yeah, the gender bias one. So one number, Nikura. I'm I'm trying to learn more on that too. Right. So Nepal, ma, yeah, it's sad that China. Ultimately, we don't have that many female artists, artists. Uh, let yeah. alone like us being gender yeah. biased. So um, let's 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 go towards and say more. Whatever you've accumulated, you've traveled all the way around the world. Okay. You've 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 seen like this scope of tattoo and the status of tattoo in a lot of countries. Okay. So, I mean, describe it for us, your Tabago journey. Okay. Um, I mean, this experience is that you can point out that all right, this needs to go, this needs to go, this needs to go. And okay, black and white, I mean, points are in Nepal. I mean, honestly, I'm in Nepal, I don't see anything different than what I see anywhere else in the world. Yeah, right. Uh -huh. Because, yeah, every year I, you know, I follow I'm in Nepal, I'm in Nepal, I'm in Nepal. And their work is amazing. They have started traveling, they have started doing convention, they are invited to other countries and studios, mm -hmm. guest spot. Mm -hmm. I mean, that is a growth. Right, really. that is growth. And so there's nothing for me to tell, like, I'm mean, the Obviously, we still have to work hard. And that's art, like, you know, uh -huh. when we never stop learning. Right. And I think our artists, they know that. And then Nepali artists are, and then they're, they're working hard every day. They're learning new things. They are, they've reached, like, different heights. They go travel, Amaroksha, uh, Like, there are so many artists. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thailand convention, Boyo. Germany, my guest spot, so Europe travel, so America, so Poland, so right. And so that's, I mean, Poyla Mohan was the only one who did mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, and now we have other artists being invited, right? Represents our country, our art scene globally. Mm -hmm. So I don't think we have, I think we are just, you know, that's, we are up there, we're going up. We are, that's the only thing, that's the only way we want to go, and we are doing it. So Ma, if, if, if no difference in, 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 in the tattoo scene or, or uh, w whatever we draw from it, is there a difference in how these tattoo conventions are organized worldwide okay. and it's done in Nepal and, and ma, are you facing obstacles certain things that you'd like to change while you organize this event when you see like or when you go to other conventions and you say all right uh, Nepal tattoo convention money you're going to buy on to you mm. stone, sir? from whatever resources we get and I'm, I'm very happy from <laughs> the support that we get uh -huh. and our sponsors and our supporters friends Ruslan de Hilera mm. Nepali media tourism board Tamil tourism board de Hilera, right. like, uh, THT the kind of support that we get, I mean, I'm, we are blessed to have uh -huh. this kind of support from our friends and supporters, you know, sponsors. And yeah, obviously, like, you know, we would love to, love to get some more so that we can also expand, make it bigger. Uh -huh. Bigger, not in the size. Volume, well, I, we, don't, we don't go for right. that. So we, what we are we going to We just want to be, we just want to represent, we be able to represent ourselves in a bigger scene, in a bigger Danny. And then now, uh -huh. I mean, our ambassadors are people who have been here before. Uh -huh. And uh, artists, Nepali artists, when they go travel to other convention, the studios, Nepal Ma Aunus, we also hold, we host this convention, one day, one sir. And international artists, once they come to our convention, they become our family members. Right. So they are our ambassador. They sell our convention to everybody in the world. Mm -hmm. do, do you have a figure? Are there some Kotizan tattoo artists say nationally in Nepal Ma Aunus? Tattoo convention? Okay. So because it changes every year, yeah. too, and that's the yeah. beauty of it, I suppose. Yeah. You know. so, so how many, as far as you get? 500? So Oh yeah, yeah, easy. minimum yeah, five hundred, yeah, right? Yeah, easily, easily, easily five hundred. Well, Only so you tell me honestly, Bijay, as a good in my, if one of my younger brother comes up to me and says, "Who's young, younger brother too?" Needless yeah. to say, yeah. <laughs> yeah, if it's mine, so. <laughs> and he comes up to us and he says, "Dai, I want to become a tattoo artist." Hmm. Well, is there a scope? Is there a life for him? Of is course. there? Is there? Fr and is his life financially secure? Yeah, if he is dedicated artist and like what uh, George, the one who was here last year, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. what he said, like, you know, talent, mm -hmm. there's nothing talent, it's practice. If it's you practice, yeah, it is. If you have the patience, if you are ready to sacrifice everything for the art, mm -hmm. then you will achieve what you want to do, like everything else in life, right? Right. And if he can dedicate himself, like, yeah, create love, respect that art. Then definitely, and financially, when they hear like oily ma'am, they are like, "I mean, Nepal does such a good Asian convention. God, they hear man, she will knows about us. Right? Knows about our country. Of course, they know about our country, but knows about our convention, and in a way, knows about me. So, okay, you are. Right. So, if I, not being a tattoo artist, is known, and imagine if you are an artist, or oily girl person, well, my, there's nothing called. Then you do a good work. You do a good. You know, you create something beautiful. You everybody knows here. And it's you. it's not restricted by no, like no, the, the no. limitations of a country. It's, no. it's global. Isn't exactly. It? And then Paula just like travel on the Garo Saro Nepal the the demand or the artists are on the heri. 
Nepali Uru, they know they are so much aware of art, what they want and how they want it. Mm -hmm. I mean, you don't have to even have to travel. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's an added benefit for yourself. Of course, you'll learn, right. travel always, you know, you're going to mm -hmm. learn a lot of things. But Nepali Bhutan, you get the respect, mm -hmm. you can create, and I mean, you just grow. And then of course, yes, if I would, uh, yeah, of course, why not? In which ways do you see, I mean, of course, there are plenty of art forms. I mean, as f you can let your imagination run wild, and, and that, oh, no. I think, is art. You know, Art oh, is no. everything in your mind, yeah. and reality is everything that happens in action. So, I mean, there are m hundreds of art forms, and, and there are millions of ways to portray it, and it differs from individuals to individuals. But how does tattoo, as an art, connect to other ta art forms, you think? Yes, but I tell you about just the growth, like art, See them on the like How does it sink in music or painting or mm. or drama or theater? Oh, sure. And then there's tattoos and and which is an, an individual unique art form oh, sure. and equally bigger big space. Oh, sure. So more, so how does it gel? Is is there a synchronicity or something as such? Like okay, once you respect art, then you start respecting every form of art. Mm -hmm. For me, like music, literature, two kura aru so, uh, tattoo my, since I am so involved mm -hmm. and it's so close to my heart, through that I respect other forms of art. Right. Uh -huh. So, it might mean of not my taste, uh -huh. but I won't say like, you know, but this is in itself beautiful. Right, right. Not True my that. type, but it's an art. And and plus, I suppose, it's an emot, uh, the world of tattoo is, is unlimited. And the beauty of it is you can draw inspirations from other mm. art forms as well like you know you can yeah. you can uh, actually be inspired to get a tattoo from a quote you've learned and and try to express yeah. that and, and i think that there is a connection between all art forms and to and be able to then to be able to relate your emotions to be able to relate or chain an environment experience mm -hmm. and create something out of it or not even draw in a paper like straight away on a skin right and then relate you know link that with your experience with your imagination the healer so that's beautiful. That's, you know, in itself is a well, like, wow. It is, it is. Art is the mother of expression, you know. Where does expression come from? I think it comes from art. Whether that be language, whether that be literature, whether that be painting, all forms, I think, I mean, w where did these forms of expressions come It I think it came from art. And I think tattoo is such an art form. Um, I think which, 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 in a flow chart, if you're imagining, it's at the top and everything springs out of it. And, and that, I think, is the beauty of it. Um, of course, the Nepal Tattoo Convention, the seventh international Nepal Tattoo Convention is happening from tomorrow. It's happening at Heritage Garden in Sanepa. It's going to go on for three days. Um, I mean, last year, Koti Manse visited us time, or what was the step? Briefly, four to five thousand. Four to five thousand. So we expect a big rise in the numbers this year. Um, of course, you guys have loved tattoo, and, and I really like it when people call us up and, you know, have their yeah. queries. You know, whether silly or not, I mean, it's it's just nice that people are asking questions exactly. about tattoos, yeah. isn't it? Like, uh, uh, no comments, Pandu Wanda. Anything is Any, welcome, anything please. Anything is welcome. <laughs> and, and, and that is, that I, I mean, that is what art encourages, you know. Um, well, it's time now for another uh, music video, the second song from our Ruslan FM 95.2. Um, it's from Newaz. Do you like the band oh, Newaz? You love the course, band Newaz, Of course, of course. Right? You're a good time for band. Oh, band, yeah, yeah, right? yeah. And good friends. <laughs> All friends music, yours. yes. So they've got a music video in black. I think First Factory Productions did an amazing job making this music video a couple of years ago. It's been playing in Namaste ever since, and today we thought it's the right time for us to listen to it again. This is Newaz with their song in black, the second song from our Ruslan FM 95.2 playlist. You guys enjoy the song. We'll be right back. <coughs> yes, welcome back. You're still watching Wow Namaste TV show. I just played you in black that was performed by Newaz. We're discussing the 7th International Nepal Tattoo Convention that begins from tomorrow. It's happening at Heritage Garden, Sanepa. There's a change of venue. So all of our viewers that didn't know that, uh, I mean, this is the announcement. We've got the director of Nepal Tattoo Primate Limited and the lead organizer for uh, the Nepal Tattoo Convention for the past seven years, Vijay Shrestha, right here with us. Vijay Dai, so... I mean, are you excited for tomorrow? Pumped oh up? Oh, yes. Of course, of course. And we wait for this for the whole year. You know? And <laughs> every year, I'm sure, I mean, there are different stories th that, that, that happen. So, Ma, of your past seven Tata conventions, but I say, what's one story that sticks in your head? Uh, Is it going to be the earthquake? <laughs> oh, yeah. That's, of course, of course. I'm with you. Eh? We were there second day of our convention right. when, when it happened. We all... Yeah, it has to be the earthquake. Uh -huh. And what happened? What were you guys doing? What guide uh, us through us in, in the <laughs> way you saw it, you know? More, in fact, I was talking with my friend Sushil Sangamu Funakura when it happened. Uh -huh. 
and then yeah, so everything started shaking, and I ran, and there were so many things in my mind, and I was thinking about my brother, Miru Banjiru, they were volunteering, so where are they? And then my artists, my venue, <laughs> my you know everything. Uh -huh. So I was not scared; I was just worried about everybody else, and the fear of And that's how that's how you know human. How we how we work? Dude. And uh, what was the uh, what were the artists? What did the artists think was happening? Like with Sunny, keep my glasses like that. They were shocked, you know, obviously. And then Thabako Manjuru could do what he's supposed to do. Mm -hmm. All of them started running out, of course. And then I was telling like, don't run down that mm -hmm. that steep uh, stairs. Yeah, yeah. Of yeah. Don't do that. Like come under the beam and all those uh -huh. things. So we did that. When it stopped, then okay, now run. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> run for your lives now. <laughs> We all ran, and honestly, I was also running out. Then I realized, like, what am I doing? I'm not supposed to be out. Then I turned around, uh -huh. and I was running inside the hall. Uh -huh. <laughs> and, um, I mean, yeah, organizing team, bhai. So we were running, and then some artists are like, what are you doing? Mm -hmm. you know, and I'm like, no, I can't, we can't. <laughs> so, yeah, so our main, the door, but we were just worried about people who came to this country, who came to the convention. Mm -hmm. So you have the sense of responsibility, it would take overshadows your fear and do you get that still like so when you invite a ta artist for tactical mission please come and then mm. like, ah, is there going to be another earthquake yeah. one, i mean we do that mm -hmm. i mean of course uh, and he could then say uh, like a very good friend of ours matthew uh who he was there with his girlfriend for the first time she was obviously like never felt anything mm -hmm. like this before mm -hmm. uh from dc I mean, shocked me. Yeah. Well, well, well you know, go, obviously. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Right. <laughs> so Matthew, last year, I mean, more chat got there, I think, and Matthew was like, you know, like, yeah, I don't think she let me go. And I like totally understand, man. You know, uh -huh, uh -huh. take your time. And obviously, in the last evening, we had the right. regular, the tremors that are filled by Matthew. And then I told him, like, I mean, you have the choice not to come back, but that's my home. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then how long will you live? You know, how long will you bend or? Surrendered to fear. But I heard Matthew, two mother boy, and then like, oh, sure, bro, I'll see you whenever. Uh -huh, uh -huh. And then next day, he just wrote, okay, I just booked my ticket. So he's coming this year. So he was here last year, too. Oh, and he's oh coming he here. was here last year, too. Oh so well now he's like, he's like, you know, he got here two days back, and he's like, I'm home. Oh, well, there you go. So, right. we, you know, like, then everybody says the same thing. Like, you know, you can't surrender to fear, you have to face mm -hmm, mm -hmm. that fear. And then they came here, nothing happened. If something happens, we all say, like, yeah, well, it's meant to be. Right. Well, there you go. I mean, come to the Nepal Charity Convention, of course, <laughs> but don't come in expectations of the earthquake. Because, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> as it is, well, it's Nepal, well, the convention or not, we, we're not expecting earthquake no, anymore. It's no. an old story, isn't yeah, it? Yes, right yes. Now. We've got to put it behind us. Not the lessons that we learned from it, and that I think will we'll drift to the political and the social side, mm. but, you know, more towards the funny side, I think, the lighter experiences. Yeah, and, and then I also the emotional part was, I'm sorry. Please. But it just brought us so, you know, we are like a family that we... Uh -huh. We were tattooed in a different way. Where was everybody like us? So was tent man, boss, it is a Nepal Tarikon mentioned tent one, something like we, that. We, I mean, we wish we could do that. But after that day, I was then I had to take care of my own family. Uh -huh. Right, uh -huh. we all right. had to take oh, care of right. our own family. Uh -huh. We had to go. Uh -huh. I called the embassies and they took care of their respective artists. Right, because then the artists really were taking care of uh -huh. each other. But then we, you know, then we were just we are still tied up in a way that the whole Tarikon community got together. We collected a lot of money for our projects here mm -hmm. that we were doing, mm -hmm. and still are. Right. So, and everybody, like, like these guys from other convention, they bought our trophies that we had designed that year, and mm -hmm. then they used that as their oh main wow. trophies. Right. So, like, you know, funding our projects here, uh -huh. Uh -huh. supporting so Nepal. Wow. So, and like, yeah, and I think even we had an article that you know that thanked the international tech community the way, the love and support. That oh wow. Yeah. Uh -huh. The bazaar on Nepal after the earthquake was beautiful, and yeah. But has anybody, any tattoo artist that was a part of that earthquake and that convention, come up to you and and said, "I was inspired, <laughs> like <laughs> by this experience." I mean, I think my tattoo is <laughs> was that was there anybody? I'm sure they were inspired yeah, in their own way. They right? were inspired in a way that they have they've never felt that kind of fear. Uh -huh. They've never faced anything, mm -hmm. and the way they were inspired of how we, how we as like. Nepal reacted to it, mm -hmm. how we got together and helped each other in whatever way we could. Right. How they were inspired, like Quentin who was here last year, like many friends who just stayed back mm -hmm. and was with us. We were digging toilets or all another. And valley. all of that, you know, not yeah, just the of experience of the earthquake, but you know, the, the, the w whatever Kathmandu looked like mm. after that, I think it was, was beautiful. Like, you know, it was you know? we all did whatever we could. 
Right? Bike ma ek bike ka chauso ya din ta pani chau bani. We took that and we went. We could see people doing that. Mm -hmm. That was like inspiring. That was like the most beautiful thing I've seen in this country. Seriously, I still remember those hard yeah. days and get inspired. Those are all mind-boggling experiences and, and inspirations for tattoo artists because that's the way their minds roll. It's now time for a short commercial break. On the other side, I think we've got uh, time for still a couple of topics that we can discuss. So stick around. We'll be right back. <laughs> Yes, welcome back. You're still watching Wave Namaste TV show. We're into the last fragment of today's episode. Today we're in conversation with Mr. Bijesh Shrestha, who is the lead organizer for uh, Tattoo Convention for the past six, seven years. Uh, I mean, the seventh edition starts from tomorrow. It begins uh, at Heritage Garden, which is a new venue for Tattoo Convention. Uh, so all of you guys who didn't know about that, please keep that in mind. Uh, 1, 1 p.m. to 6 p.m. is Positive. the timings, right? Yeah. 1 p.m. <coughs> to 6 p.m. Bijesh Dai, Zada Zadai, any last words about Tattoo Convention? Um, first of all, thank you. For me? Also, thank oh you wow. for like <laughs> posting. Yeah. It is a ritual. It's Convention a ritual. Like. We have to we come here and talk about it. And thank you for the time. Thank you there for giving us a space. And thank you. I would like to thank all our supporters, media, sponsors, friends. And yeah, it's been like six, seven years, seven years international and one year of a, uh, national. Uh -huh. So from 25, 30 boots, national boots. So now we are 110. How many countries? 20 plus. One of the world's like you know best tattoo artists. They mm -hmm. come to Nepal. Mm -hmm. They travel all across oceans and you know on their own expense, come to our country, spend time in the country, love, and yeah, soak everything from our country, positive, our culture, tradition, food, mm -hmm. So that's 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 why we started this convention. Right. Promote art in every possible way that we can, mm -hmm. from our music, from our tattoo artists, Nikhilera. Because, yeah, that's art. Mm -hmm. Like, oh, yeah, I'm going to be talking about in the break. Man, an artist can listen to a music and write a book, mm -hmm. read a book, and paint something. Right, right. So these guys are here to uh, travel in Nepal and then get inspired and uplift their art. And we are doing the same. Learn from those guys. So please come. Thank you for the support that you have been giving us for the past six, seven years. And we pray everything goes well. It's a new venue. And people are working hard. My, our en entire team, along with artists, Nikhilaya, Savita Nairu, we are very excited about this edition, like every year. And so please come, enjoy the uh, day, you know? And then tomorrow, first day, so we're going to start Ek Bozi Dikhi Thoba Summer, and then the weekend, Saturday and Sunday, 11 o'clock, onwards mm -hmm. till 6, 7. Oh, wow. We're going to open late. We're going to mm -hmm. open late and close late. So right. no rush. Like, Poyla, that's the no Bozi, Aar Bozi, Aira. Take your time and you know, we'll spend the whole day. We have like yeah, we have good menu for food and drinks, so right. cultural shows, music, concerts, competitions, arts and yeah, it's gonna be a it's gonna be a good art fun filled three days. Well, you're not going to see me in TV for three days because yeah, I'm going to be yeah, there, yeah. right? And, <laughs> and we've got to rush to a uh, pre-party of the same. Oh yeah, we have, so, we I mean, that. we've got to sign off now pretty soon. <laughs> you can come find us there. We'd be happy to answer your questions about tattoo or whatever you want to ask. I mean, regardless of tattoo. But you've got to buy us a drink with yeah. the end, right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, there's a new oh, yeah. uh, ritual oh, yeah. that we've started, right? Nice. Every guest that comes in has to sign so that we can get a memento of their experience and their presence in this show. So, Ooh. if you don't mind, um, of not. you can of sign not. anywhere you want, right? Yeah, just make sure that's not the signature that you gave in your checks as no, well. No, it's NTC then, Nepal Tattoo Convention. Yeah, well, there you go. Yeah. Yep. Here we go. All right, Thank so you. that's that's the cop. That's the signature of Mr. Bijay Shrestha, who is here. And, and it's always a pleasure for us to host you. Like, it's it's I'm, uh, Every time we're just discussing this, we come here, we sit here, and then before we know it, the police upstairs tells us, yeah. it's <laughs> time, guys. You've got two minutes. And then we're like, really? Uh, but we've got a party to attend to. I'm sure you've got plenty of things to do, too. But tomorrow, if you've got plenty of things to do, then you should cancel it. That's our recommendation. Come yeah. to and the 7th. You have days, so You've got three days. 7th yeah. International <laughs> Nepal Tari Convention starts tomorrow. It'll go on till Sunday. Uh, you, you can find us there about any time, but make sh let's make sure that we see you there as well. Thank you for your love and support. Thank you for joining us from the other side of the screen. It's, for me, it's time for me to bid out of you from today's episode. Of course, uh, we're going to be back tomorrow. The gorgeous Sana is going to be back tomorrow. Till then, take care. Bye-bye, and have a great night. <laughs>